Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my new video. This is Sampathy watching Sampath Samfx YouTube channel and this is Poco X3 custom ROM reviews you can see here and Arrow is with Android version 13 here and device recognized as Karna February 5th 2023 is the security patch kernel used here is uh, 4.14.307 lineage kernel which is latest one and Android version you can see here Android version is 13 here which is quite interesting ROM this is stay tuned till the end of the video I'll be explaining everything in detail regarding this particular ROM and if you're first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like and let's begin this video first I'll start with the benchmark results here you can see 3,60,203 is the scores what I got in this particular room 1.1 degree celsius is the temperature raise and two percentage of battery has been dropped during this testing of anti benchmark results in uh, poco x after this arrow is latest version with february security patch and the benchmark results like geekbench uh, i will be took i'll be showing with screenshot because it will be not having any history here you can see 736 is the single score and multi score is 1760 and good thing in this rom is charging rapidly is supported but it is showing full in 1 hour 43 minutes after 98 percent for 2 percent you need to use 1 hour 43 minutes it's a little bit uh, uh, wrong information has been shown but the 33 watt charging support is available in this rom and you can also see the cpu throttling test the maximum is around 188 and average 145 and minimum is 106 here and there there will be lot more throttling has been happening according to this app 68 percent of its max performance but guys after seeing this benchmark results and everything you might getting the idea it is not a good rom it is kind of a different rom or bad rom but i would say this if you miss this ROM, you are going to miss everything regarding POCO X. This is very good ROM. In fact, I really like the smoothness in the UI. The Arrow OS, after a certain long time I'm using, I didn't expect this much smoothness in Arrow OS, but it is there. You can see everywhere the smoothness is present here. You can just open any uh, sort of, uh, for example, if I go into display and again dark theme, there is even custom theme option has been given here. Uh, make it vivid monet whatever you want it will be in pitch black condition if I go here as you can see swiping it's very very smooth actually I really like the smoothness in the UI after this uh, arrow is installed in I mean flashed in POCO X3 I really liked it and DM information you can see here you'll be getting level 1 certified no need to worry that safety net status also no need to worry it will get passed as you can see now the performance is top notch here uh, considering it's an arrow is and i really like to say that the battery life is also you will get this thermal profiles on battery usage you can see there is a gradual drain here but it is because i'm using the smartphone it's not ideal drain i really like the battery life here you get uh, this kind of launcher but anyhow what i want to say is you will get a very good battery efficiency rom this was i am saying in the previous video wait for a video and that is the video here and i didn't expect the performance what i am getting in this particular rom after this uh, flashing method i really like the performance in the ui is really really good if you are using arrow s android 12 based versions this is the time you need to update to android 13 it's as smooth as any other android 13 the pixel extended and pixel voice whatever i said that kind of smoothness has been included here you can get this hi-fi audio system and direct sound settings and like vibration and haptics you get these kind of options you can enable or disable from here already i shown the display options uh, everything kept to 120 hz tap to wake and sleep are present here security options you just get a fingerprint and app locker no face unlock that's the bummer here if you are looking for only face unlock based roms there are many roms available you can check out my channel the pixel os evolution x uh, the previously made project awaken those are having very good uh, performing rom with face unlock present but here the face unlock is missing you'll get this kind of gallery and clean ui is even cleaner than 
uh, pixel experience kind of roms i really like the performance and battery life what i am getting here into gesture navigation you can see you can enable or disable the gesture bar but there is no option to increase the bar length and radius it's a little bit uh, tiny and uh, invisible in my opinion they would have given that option i was uh, telling this from long time they are not listening to me maybe they should have implemented that and one more thing in the quick settings is this automatic brightness toggle you can see that's present here i really like the performance what i am getting from this rom i want to use it as a daily driver that smooth the ui is i really recommend you to flash once this rom and camera you get disappointed they have mentioned like a will work I haven't done, I haven't rooted this smartphone because to check the smoothness in the UI. Uh, let me know in the comment section guys if you are already using this ROM, you are also facing the same smoothness in the UI or only me. Because I will test each and every ROM for Poco XC, I will definitely notice which ROM is smoother and it's a huge difference i can notice actually from these roms that's why i can able to tell you which is smooth which is average which is bad sometimes i even said the bad also some of the roms because they are not uncooked but this rom is really really good i really like the experience what i'm getting from this arrow is and if i go into settings again all the features are working fine accessibility menu again you can see shortcut has been given if i press and hold here you won't get any wallpapers here as you can see and the wallpaper colors and basic colors the combination of colors those are present here themed icons are also given app grid you can choose up to six into six system icon packs you can choose from here system fonts you get some of them and you can see this how the themed icons work in the home screen if you want to keep it for app drawer also you can do that and uh, this is how the arrow is based on android 13 and february security patch and the latest build of march 12 if you want to flash this rom and use it as a daily driver go ahead definitely you should use this kind of roms in terms of stability the performance is very very good even the battery life is also very good i don't know charging speeds exactly i hope it's also good and it is supporting 33 watt charging but speeds i don't know this is how the rom guys if you want to use any g cam port you can use the arnav build and agc sorry yeah agc camera i've shown in the previous video those things also you can use that's all guys in this video if you're still not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now